victory. And Ted Mosley has annihilated Antonio Mogherini. Let's go three rounds with 3D boxing. There are a couple of fighters. Angels Pedrosa from Venezuela. He was the WBA 140 pound champ. One of the best knockout artists there ever lived. He was, he was one of them. Another guy that was my mentor was Gennaro Chicanito Hernandez. My trainer, Manuel Gomez, actually, he was like the first guy when I went to the gym. He was the first guy I saw. Uh, I look at James Tony, James Paisal Tony. I look at him, well, I still look up to him to this day. Floyd Mayweather. I admired my grandfather, Nalo Mendes, de Palau Coahuila. I admired my uncle, Manolo Mendes, who was sparring partners with Jesse James Leja back before my time, you know, back when I was probably still a baby. I looked into more like Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr. and um, Manny Pacquiao. I liked uh, Roy Jones at the time, like when I first started boxing, I really liked Roy Jones, I liked Oscar De La Hoya. Um, and then when I started, when I started boxing, that's when I started looking up to guys like Lamont Peterson. Um, I started taking more like to show you that's why I you on the team. <laughs> as a Mexican American, I admire Julio Cesar Chavez. I also admire Salvador Sanchez. Uh, my father, being a former fighter, turned me on to him when I was a young child. But overall, I believe Sugar Ray Robinson was the greatest of all time. Bruce Lee. Roy Jones Jr. I love I love how he fought. I, I I love I love everything about Roy Jones Jr. I still look up to him to I, I still look up to him up to him today as as a commentator. That's what I want to do also after boxing. I watched Earl Spence, uh, Jose Ramirez, he was one of my favorite fighters, uh, Sergio Martinez, Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, I used to watch him a lot. He was the first fighter I, I ever watched boxing, so it was him. Uh, pro and knocked out Mauricio Herrera, you know, no one thought I was going to do it. I didn't think I was going to do it. My pro debut, October 27, 2012, when I knocked down Albert Romero right at the bell on my professional debut. Professional, well, obviously, is when I, when I won the world title. Even when I fought Mayweather, because everyone thought I was going to get knocked out in the third round. And uh, we went to distance. It was, it was a great feeling where it was like a movie, like in Rocky, where everyone's yelling for Ivan Drago. And at the end, they're yelling in Rocky. That's how it was when I fought Mayweather. Everyone was booing me. And when I, after the fight, all those brothers and sisters, they were yelling, Famoso, Famoso. They were there to cheer me on. And that was a beautiful moment in my career. Uh, when I got my first knockout in my pro career. Was that your pro debut? Yeah, pro debut. I would say probably winning a silver medal in the Junior World Championships. First fight was, uh, was pretty short and one of my first knockouts. The body knockout, right? Yes. And um, hopefully going for another one today. Uh, I guess uh, my last fight went in the uh, W, uh, I mean the uh, NABO championship. Best moment in the ring is knowing that all the hard work paid off. All that. Whether I went, won or lost, all the hard work paid off and, and I felt it. Probably my main event against um, the Anthony Bonner. Uh, he was he was 16 too. I was 5-0 and, and I won. That was, that was pretty good. Professional when I knocked out the dude at Cowboys. Uh, probably my pro debut, getting that first win out of the way, uh, was the kickstart to my career, so best moment. Best moment in the ring had to be winning the ABF Junior Middleweight title. Good, my first win. First professional win? I say Errol Spence. Because that kid is uh, a very good technician, very sharp. I think uh, Sean is a little bit wild, opens up a little bit more, and I see I see Errol a little bit more precise with his punches, southpaw as well. And not only that, he has a little, he has some pop in his behind his punches. So I go with I go with uh, Errol Spence. Errol Spence, he's too big, he's too strong. I got Earl Spence, Team Texas, baby, Team Texas. Uh, Earl Spence, he's just a, you know, more complete fighter than Sean Porter. Um, he got that thunder, he got that crack. Um, I don't think there's anything Sean Porter can do in the ring better than Earl Spence. Is he stronger? And, and they gonna see, the people gonna see too. The people gonna see. I mean, people haven't been fighting Earl for a reason. 
and um, people gonna see why. I got Spence because he's just stronger. He's a better fighter. Uh, he could, probably, I say, knock out eight, ninth round. I got, I got Spence. He could probably stop before the, Why? I mean, he's just too smart, too powerful right now. Let's go put a beat on that man. Spence's? You got Spence by I love both guys. Um, Sean Porter is a tough cinder block. He stays there. He's cocky. He's strong. But technician-wise, I would have to lean toward my my my, my Texan Spence, and I, I think Spence, Spence would put it off with a uh, unanimous decision. I have Earl Spence. Uh, he's just because strong. I like I like watching him fight. Uh, he's, a, he's a great fighter, and uh, he's from Texas also. Errol Spence. I feel like Errol Spence is something different. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why, but Errol Spence to me, is, like he didn't surprise me in that Mikey Garcia fight. I knew, I knew he was gonna win easily, but it's gonna be a tough fight. But I feel like Errol Spence is gonna top it. Uh, I mean, I say Errol Spence because he has more, you know, of a, uh, he holds back and when he hits, he's gonna, he has, his, you know, he's gonna have his moments. Sean Ford is, you know, just a brawler, so. I'm not much a fan of those, but something they get their victories too, you know. It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Yeah, it's Sean Porter and Errol Spence. Errol Spence is very, very strong. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's gonna have the. Uh, I don't think that. Uh, I'm sorry. Sean Porter is gonna be able to back him down. So if Sean Porter can't back him down, then he's not gonna be able. To so officially, you got you got Spence. Yeah, I got Errol Spence. I got Spence. I just think he's a better boxer right now. He's just showing that he's you know uh, the man of that way right now. So I got Spence going. Not one guy picked Porter. Comment below if you have him over Spence. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. This is Three Rounds with 3D Boxing from Texas to the World. Thank you and God bless.